Tonight, Hawaii, along with the mainland, certainly has seen a spike of COVID cases stemming from the Delta variant. And reporter Tom George now from our ABC affiliate shows us how the spread is now setting off alarms. They say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, but Kauai County's district health officer says not true. Among our recent cases since we've had the surge over the last month, many of those had mainland travel and of those, many of those went to Vegas. Behrman says she's worried about the risk posed when you combine indoor crowds in places like casinos with the fact that some people are still not getting vaccinated. We talked with Dr. Dahlia Wax in Las Vegas. She says many visitors have a false sense of security. One thing that I've seen as a physician is the vaccinated individuals seem to be more risk taking because they feel immune. They feel immortal having the vaccine. In Vegas, the spike in cases prompted local health officials to reverse course. Now the local health district is recommending wearing masks indoors, even for those fully vaccinated. Also, local county lawmakers adopted new rules requiring any employees who come in contact with the public to wear a mask. But they stopped short of mandating masks for visitors. The Delta variant is coming at a time where we have COVID fatigue, where people who have been masking, people who have been social distancing are now again, facing economic loss and all that. So our job in Las Vegas is to make sure not only our residents safe, but our tourists are safe. When we went to Vegas last month, we noticed a lot of Hawaii visitors at the Cal wearing masks, even though they technically didn't have to. We all still have personal choices, right? As far as I know, there isn't any place that's going to say you can't wear a mask if you want to come inside here. So that's why our focus is on if you're going to travel, how can you travel as safely as possible? hoping the Ninth Island will take its safety cues from the other eight. Tom George, 13 Action News.